How crazy is it to think that everything around us all started with someone's stupid little dream? Hey you guys, guess where we are at? We are at the beach! Here we go! So I'm excited to get out here and play in these waves a little bit and soak up some of the sun. Um, we're just here for the day, so we're gonna frolic play a little bit and get on back to the house. Here's the truth. Your dreams, they're yours. And they're for you. And they, no matter what others think, are not stupid. Let's think about it. Everything around us, from the smallest little gadget to the biggest skyscraper, all started in someone's heart and their mind. Every single thing we see and experience all began with someone daring to believe in their vision. And just because others don't see the value in your dream doesn't mean that it's not important. Your dreams have the power to change your world, maybe even the world around you. It has been a couple of weeks since I've been to the beach and I have honestly felt it. Your girl has been a little down. Um, it doesn't help that we also had all that rain, so I haven't really had much sun lately. So your girl is happy, okay? I'm happy we made it here today safely. I want to get out there and just feel the waves crash against my toes, my feet, because I'm not getting too far in today. That water is rough. Um, but yeah, I'm just happy to be here. So let's get out there and enjoy this day, guys. I remember a morning I was trying to film a sunrise. It was a moment that felt almost sacred to me. I was taking this small step toward nurturing this newfound crazy dream I had of recording special moments and actually sharing them with others. In a quiet moment, someone I loved and valued came along and jokingly called my dream stupid but honestly they didn't see what I saw they did not understand how much that dream meant to me how much hope it had given me when I was so far down now I will admit I did let that dream go for a little while. I thought maybe, you know, this person is right. Maybe this dream is just stupid. Looking back now, I see that I was wrong. Not wrong because of their words but wrong because I let go of something that I needed. If there's one thing I want you to take away from this video, it's this. Do not let go of your dreams, even if others don't understand them. Even if they seem stupid to someone else, your dreams are yours and they have the power to give you hope and purpose especially in those dark moments they are so worth holding on to no matter what someone else says you see dreams aren't just fantasies they're lifelines they remind us that there's more to life than just this day-to-day -day grind. They remind us that we are so capable 
in fact more capable than we could ever think and sometimes they are the very thing that keeps us going when everything else around us feels like it's falling apart so if you have a dream big or small realistic or wild hold on to it protect it nurture it don't let anyone's opinion make you feel like you need to let go of something that can bring you hope and joy we all need something to believe in something to work toward something that we can dream about been here a couple of hours I'm happy having a good time just relaxing this Sun guys it feels amazing just being able to chill out in my chair listen to the waves watch them catch their fish is just everything to me it's all I need you know a day like this I reset recharge go back to the world but for now, I'm gonna enjoy this. I'll be back with you. Dreams can be a lot like a safety net, a source of light in dark times. Even if the dream doesn't fully materialize, the way we hope, the process of dreaming, of imagining something better, of allowing ourselves to hope can be a lifeline. It gives us something to hold on to when everything else feels uncertain or overwhelming. When I finally allowed myself to dream my stupid little dream, it wasn't just about reaching some specific goal. It was more about giving myself permission to believe in something bigger. Something that brought light into my life when I needed it most. That hope was just as valuable as the dream itself. At first, it may seem like a dream is just an idea, just a wishful thought. But as we move forward, we might find that it's actually guiding us towards something that we didn't even know we needed. That's why it is so important to just hold on, to trust that the purpose will reveal itself in time. Hey y'all, I have fiddled and battled around here long enough. I done got hot. So I'm gonna go stick my toes in the water for a bit and chill out and I'll be back with y'all. So I thought the water was gonna be cold today. It's actually pretty warm. It's mighty frothy though. That has me a little sus. Um, anyway, so yeah, but like I said, it's, it's warm. The sand is actually soft, which normally it's kind of rough down here. So I appreciate the soft sand. Anyways, let's go get back in the water. I am hot y'all. Here's what I hope you remember. Your dreams are yours, and they're for you. No matter how stupid others may think they are. Our world is full of things that started as a dream in someone's heart and mind. Every invention, every piece of art, every breakthrough, at one point, it was just an idea that someone dared to believe in. That, that is the power of a dream. So no matter what anyone says, protect your dreams. They are your lifeline, your light in the dark, and they have the potential to shape your futures in ways that you can't even imagine right now. Your dreams are yours for a reason. Trust in them. Believe in them. 
and protect them with everything that you've got. Hold on to them tightly because they are worth fighting for. Don't let anyone take that from you. Hey you, it has been an awesome day. I'm tired, we're all tired. It's a little after five o'clock, I'm thinking. So we are gonna start cleaning up, getting everything loaded up. I'm gonna head back to the house. I'll probably nap on the way as I usually do. Y'all know I am a passenger princess. That's me for life. Um, so yeah, we will be seeing you later. I'm gonna go get that snooze in. I'm gonna clean up first and get everything ready to go. So see you later guys, bye.